Hi, my name is Juno King, and I'm a Senior Solutions Engineer for ArcGIS Indoors at Esri. In this ArcGIS Indoors demonstration, we will be looking at thinning the preliminary pathways and transition layers in the Indoors database model. After you have preliminary pathways and transition layers in your Indoors model, you can start to modify the pathways. The modification will improve the routing results that they will be used for the by thinning and classifying the pathways. Thinning pathways works by first creating routes among routable points such as units, POIs, people, and others. Then those routes are dissolved and simplified, have a schema applied with travel restrictions, and are later used to create indoors network data sets. The thinning will reduce the network dataset size and improve its route solving performance. The updated pathways are used to create the network dataset for creating routes, similar to a roadway network for transportation routing. This step will leave your network with only one best pathway among all assets and rooms. After you modify the pathways, they are almost ready to build network and create routes. But first, let's create a local scene and load preliminary pathways, preliminary transitions, details, units, levels, and facilities layers into a 3D scene. In the Geo Processing pane, start the Thin Indoors Pathways tool from the Indoors Network toolset under the Indoors Tools toolbox. Select the Level layer for the Input Level features. The input pathway feature is a processed preliminary pathways feature layer. The input transition feature is a processed preliminary transition feature layer. For routable locations, I added the units feature layer. If there is an occupant, point of interest, or other asset features that need to be connected, add those layers here. For the target pathways, Select the Pathways feature layer from the Network feature dataset. For target transitions, select the Transitions feature layer from the Network feature dataset. The search tolerance refers to a distance, in meters, which will search for routable locations feature near the input pathways. Routable locations features farther away than this value will not be used for thinning. The default value is 5. The value must be 0 or greater. The neighbor solve count refers to the number of closest neighboring locations that will be solved when calculating routes between a given location and other routable locations in the facility. The default value is 50. The value must be 1 or greater. The tool can take a long time analyzing each preliminary pathway to choose the best and most direct pathways. After the process is complete, inspect the pathways and verify that they seem to extend to the variable locations that you specified as expected and are connected to floor transitions so that routes will be seamless. If necessary, zoom, pan, and tilt the scene around to review the path in 3D. Now, we are ready to rank the thinned pathways to improve further performance, which will be covered in the next video. This concludes the thinning of the pathways, a third step to creating the indoors network. Thank you for watching.